So okay, let's actually for real Leos, um, you eat, know, record. Eat Cheerios. Eat for real Leos, eat Cheerios. <laughs> hey, brother, and welcome everyone to the hardest Tri Wizard Task Quiz game themed anything since the Tri Wizard Tournament itself, probably, unless you know how to like swim or basically solve a maze. Right. Riding a dragon would still be hard. Now for my new favorite segment, Ben Call the Question. I think that in this quiz, the answer to a question will be spider. Oh, I think the Deep. answer to a question will be Cho Chang. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Okay. And with that, <laughs> we shall begin. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the microphone. She is waving, but you cannot see her. She herself, the one, the only Kangaroo Cat, wrote us 10 questions for today's quiz. Plus we have an additional five from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I have to answer all the questions completely from memory, but if we both have no idea, we can get Kangaroo Cat to give us the multiple choice. Ben, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. Ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, you put your name in the cupboard of the fire. Question one. Who entered the maze at the same time as Harry? Oh man, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Ready, one, two, and three. Cedric Chang. <laughs> Cedric oh, no. Chang. Cedric. Uh, yeah, Cedric Diggory is correct. Cedric Diggory. Yep, easy peasy. Easy so peasy, far. lemon sneezy. Did you do it on purpose that you gave us a softball to start? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, so okay. <laughs> Just about you did to take us. This is how this works. <laughs> this is about to get real dangerous. I know, I know. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I will we'll say. See. Question two. What is the spell Harry uses to bring his firebolt to him while fighting the Hungarian horntail? Oh, oh man. This is maybe gracious. the most famous. Mm hmm. You know, spell Harry couldn't do for a while. Do we ever. have to pronounce it correctly? Yes. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Accio. I said Accio. Accio is correct. I'm kidding. Yes. Whatever. Axio. However, Accio is correct. Okay, that's a good question for the comments. Do you? How do you pronounce it? it? Yeah. Hard C or soft C? Accio broom. Also, Acio. which Accio. 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 Accio firebolt. Accio firebolt. Accio firebolt. And now it's time for the first quiz master question of the game. This question is, uh, it was submitted by Wesley Walker, Cliff, Tara Noah, and Orion. It was actually kind of two different questions that I made into one because it's the same answer. What spell was Sirius going to suggest Harry use against the dragon that Victor Crumb did use? Is that right? It's... Oh, I don't know if that's it. It's like, it's in this pronunciation range. I would normally have known this because we did the what if video. What if there was a video that meant what if Sirius had revealed himself to Harry? Yeah, and... like he would have just told him to do this. It's like, do you need the, the word or like the name of the spell? The spell. It is also kind of the name of the word, though. Oh. She got somewhat creative on this, but not quite that creative on All this right. writing the spell. This is this is that. So you know what I'm talking about. This is what it does. Okay. <laughs> I know the intent, and I even know like the ailment that it is meant to inflict. <laughs> so I, that's sort of what I, if I wrote down the ailment meant to inflict, is that what we're going for? Do I need to like say like the word he would Try say? Try to get as close as you can to the spell itself. The spell Man. is a, an actual condition in, in, in human English and in non-wizard English. The, the word you say to cast the spell is just a regular word? It's not a word I use every day, but yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right, well then I have to go over this. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I feel like, so up top I have information about what it does and how it works. Uh, on the bottom I put some version of what I think is the pronunciation. Okay. So ready? Okay. One, two, three. Conjunctivitis. Conjunctivitis, Conjunctivitis is correct. Yes. That is yes. what it is, okay. yeah. Oh my God. Conjunctivitis, yeah. conjunctivitis. I mean, I don't know if, he might've just said the conjunctivitis spell. Right. Cause he like, cause Sirius wrote a letter back being like, I was gonna say this. And then Hermione inserts, oh, that's what Victor Crumb did. 
Uh, yeah. I bet she did. I uh, bet she did. Yeah, ladies, pay attention, apparently. I did have to look this up to confirm that this was actually the same like context. It's conjunctivitis. It feels like a dental disease. Not eyes. It's eyes. eyes. Oh, yeah. it is eyes. Yeah, because okay. he says that the that's like the weakest point on the dragon is their eyes. Uh, well, I knew that, but conjunctivitis just sounds like something where you'd have like a bacteria in the mouth. Yeah. Your right. Teeth. Yeah. That, sure. I think it's and a so bacteria of the them, eye. Give Give the dragon's eyes a bit of yeah. tooth gunk. If there's gunk, any, yes, if there's yes, any yes. optometrist watching yeah. this, please. Please let us know in the towel section down below yes. what conjunctivitis is. We are. It sounds. <laughs> that would be so. It would be so funny if we were like. I think it's like, just pink eye. Of all the people that watched the Super Carl and Mother's channel, it would be very funny if a, like a big like overlapping Venn diagram was <laughs> eye doctors. That would be surprising. Like, I am eye, going eye to the doctors? eye doctor for the first yeah. time on Wednesday. Oh, well, congratulations. Like ever. Enjoy ever? that. Enjoy that puff Ever. Of yeah. The only time yeah. I've ever had my eyes tested was at like a like a school physical where like all the students came and got tested for various things. And I had 2020 vision and you know, 12th grade and that's that. Hasn't seemed to change. So, but Boy, I figured I should It's even anyway. surprising to me that it took you to 12th grade to have this tested. Cat, the I'm sure they tested like at the doctors, but okay. they I like guess. looked in my eyes or whatever, know. but I didn't have the like. I think you're supposed to go annually. Read so. these letters. Yeah, Do they I've look been. deep in your eyes? No, I think you're just supposed to read things. Mm, okay. Read the letters across the room or whatever. I don't know if that's still how they do it. I feel like that's how they do it in all the movies. Do you guys ever think if you look deep in someone's eyes, you can see their soul a little bit? <laughs> that because is I what they say. The windows like are the. Here when I imagine it. Oh. The eyes yeah. of the windows to the it's soul. Like in or your head? But I, yeah, what she just said, eyes of the windows to the soul. Yeah. People say that. It's a thing. It's catching on. I mean, I guess it's catching on. That. It's been a I thing for a while. Imagine, no one imagines their soul being in their head. Do they not? Do they not? Do they? Do they? Your soul's just like your whole body. Is your soul your whole body? Yeah. Is your soul more your heart? I mean, heart maybe or in your, your heart, but like kind of your whole body. More your heart. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> anyway. It's a very lofty question. Well, here. we are. This is a. I'm, okay. <laughs> where is your soul? Where is your soul? When you picture your soul in your body, where is it? Is it also the shape of your body? No, I think of it more of kind of like kind of like a burning fire. Oh, I'm learning a lot about the way it's that like you the will of the <laughs> I can't believe this isn't how everyone thinks about it. Uh, I imagine mine like a stick figure version of myself. No, what? I'm my, no, it's it's inside. Inside. Yeah, a real drawing of my soul. You got a great neck there. It's more like an oval <laughs> shape. I imagine more like an oval shaped fire. That's kind of amazing. Like honestly. a will o' the wisp. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, this is. Blowing my mind. I'm gonna go to the next question now. <laughs> question four. Who was Cedric's quote treasure to be rescued during the second task? Oh my oh! goodness gracious. Oh! You are winning the game. Well, 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 the boys, let's go. One, two, three. Cho Chang. Cho Chang Cho is correct. H-A-W-T. Cho Chang. Hot Lips. Cho Hot, Hot Lips Chang. Amazing. Question five. What was the first obstacle slash challenge Harry encountered in the maze? Oh, the first challenge in... Le Mans. Le Mans. Le Mans. Oh, okay, good, good, good question, great question. Okay, I'm going with, ah. I feel 54% good about it. 54. It's more okay. than 50. It's All more right. than 50. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Golden mist. Yeah, I said the upside down fog mist. It is not. It is a Dementor or a Bogart. Oh, Those are the chances I would have accepted. Yeah, sorry. But, Dang it. Well, we both got it wrong. We what both got it wrong the same way. We did, we did. And now it's time for the second quiz master question of the game. Uh, That's a weird way of saying that. This question was submitted by Duck underscore Patronus underscore 18 and voted on by patrons. All right, what does Harry think his legs feel like they are made of? when he goes to face the dragons. Um, I mean, it's gotta be something like in this vein, right? <laughs> Did you write this? I don't know. It feels like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> would, you go, would you go multiple choice? Sure, sure, okay, I'll go right. multiple choice. All right, all right, all right, all right. A, Jello. B, pudding. C, marshmallows. Or D, nothing. His legs felt like nothing. <laughs> it's Is like, this a trick question? <laughs> what did Harry's legs feel like? <laughs> My question? legs disappeared. It wasn't mentioned at all. <laughs> it was never discussed. It wasn't who we don't know. 
His legs probably just felt like legs. <laughs> <laughs> that Those are the answers that Doug Patronus 18 gave me. Okay. So those are the ones that I put. I have an answer. I am, I mean, okay. Ready? But, yeah. One, two, three. Jello. Jello. Marshmallows. What? It was Ellie marshmallows. says his legs feel like marshmallows. And he does. I feel like Jello is an American thing. Well, question mark. I think they would call it jelly or gelatin. I agree with you. It was and marshmallows. I wrote down jelly ahead of Your time, face. which is why I thought Jello. I, like, I absolutely thought that's what you guys were gonna do, and you thought it was gonna be like jelly or Jello, and I was like, they're gonna get this one wrong with the well, multiple well, choice. I almost didn't because it said Jello, and I was like, I think Jello is more I'm, of an American. I'm looking. I'm looking this up. Yeah, okay, go I'm for it. it. <laughs> My goodness, brother, look. Yeah. He stood up, noticing dimly that his legs seemed to be made of marshmallow. Wow. Noticing, what? Noticing <laughs> dimly. There you go. I guess it's that. The quiz master was right. <laughs> I mean, I, I should have known better than to doubt him. But I know, it's true. <laughs> it feels like, I can't believe that I haven't paused it every single time in that moment and been like, what? And you're like, excuse me? Question seven. What was the answer? To the Sphinx's riddle. <laughs> Nailed it! No look, high five. No look, high five. One, two, three. Oh, not very good. good. Not, yeah. not the best. <laughs> but not the worst. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Spider. A spy. Spider. 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 Oh, yes, yeah, that, that is correct. <laughs> that if Dobby never showed up in Chamber of Secrets, Harry would have been eaten by Aragorn. 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 By Aragorn. <laughs> From Lord of the Rings. We are we are not we are not batting a thousand today. <laughs> yeah. We can just cut that. No, I no I absolutely keep that in. Riley, I will pay you. <laughs> oh man, it is the end of a Monday. You must call for eight. Okay, <laughs> question eight. Which champion pulls the Welsh green dragon out of Ludo Bagman's silk bag? Well, it's always hard because it's just like, you don't really think of any of the other dragons as, as any Yeah, dragon. yeah, that's but, fair. So like, it's like, you just kind of have to remember who's associated with who. I know, yeah. Okay, I think I got it right. All right. I think, oh, I'm pretty sure this is it, but. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Floor. I said Cedric. Oh, it's Floor. Yes! Oh! Okay, because I always Sherry. think it's gonna be like the, I always imagine the Swedish short snout. I think it's I think it's described as blue. Is it? I think it is in the that. book. And because Bo Baton is like associated with blue in the movie, mm. I always want it to be that. Because mm. on the flip side, the Chinese fireball, I think is red and Durmstrang is associated with red in the right. movie. Yeah. And so it's like, you'd think it would just pair up nicely that way, but actually it is not. And Fleur gets the Welsh. That's, That's a good that point. That was my reasoning. That's, that I is interesting there. reasoning. Well, you want to know what this is my reasoning for? <laughs> Are you going to be here at all this <laughs> quiz? I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going to leave in front of the camera and everything. See, right? Oh, he's going that way. Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to what we like to call the scenic route. We call it the scenic route because it's an opportunity for you to see a little bit more of the offices here at Super Carlin Brothers. And today the scenic route is brought to you by Factor. Guys, I have got to say that when I was a kid, I felt like summer was the time of year that I had time for whatever I wanted to get into. But now as an adult, that is not the case. I think I am now busier than ever during this period of time, which is why I am so grateful for meals from Factor. Now, in case you're unaware, Factor is actually America's number one ready to eat meal kit. And ready to eat means within two minutes, you have like chef prepared food available packed with nutrients. Now, you guys may know this about me at this point in time, but I really like running and weightlifting and making sure I'm staying in shape. But one of the things that can become really difficult to do is eating healthy, wholesome food. 
needs. Like, I gotta say, I don't always have time for shopping, chopping, prepping, and cleaning. It's a lot to do. But Factor lets you skip all of those steps and get right to the flavors and nutrition. And it's all in fresh, never frozen meals that are delicious and ready to eat in, again, just two minutes. They have 34 plus weekly meals to choose from. And you also have a variety of options like Gourmet Plus, which will let you treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients. But if you want a recommendation from me, it's got to be the Cheesy Bacon Ranch Shredded Chicken. That one is delicious. And even if you're someone who's on the go, they've still got you covered. They've got these grain bowls and salads, both of which are super great that are just ready whenever you need them. And another great thing that you gotta love about Factor is that they're just a company that cares about sustainability. They offset all of their delivery emissions 100% and they use renewable energy for all of their production sites and offices. So guys, get Factor and enjoy eating without all of the hassle. Plus you can get 50% off your first order when you head on over to factormeals.com slash jverseb50, promo code jverseb50. One more time, that's going to be 50% off your first order when you head on over to factormeals.com dot com slash jverse b50 and use promo code jverse b50 link is in the description down below well you guys i should tell you about ben is gone i am working with a bit of an unfair advantage today you see today i am wearing a um, lucky underwear which is to say i basically always have that advantage going from me because all of my underwear is from today's sponsor me undies we all have a piece of clothing like that right like when you wear it you just feel more confident well that is basically how i feel every single day because that's how all of my underwear is. And at this point, I have a very wide variety of patterns to suit whatever little mood I might be in, but it will probably come as no surprise to you guys that my favorite ones are the fandom inspired ones. I got Harry Potter, I got Star Wars, and I wear them all the time because I have multiples of each. Really, fandom or not, it doesn't matter. They are all amazing because they're all so comfortable. Like seriously, with me undies, their comfort is guaranteed. You're gonna feel great inside and out no matter what. Plus, it's not just undies. They have loungewear, onesies, socks, and other cozy delights just waiting to be explored. And, and you can get 25% off of your first order plus free standard shipping when you head over to meundies.com slash J verse B. And like I said, with me, undies comfort is guaranteed. So if you're not satisfied, your order is on them. So why wait? Again, you get 25% off of your first order and free shipping when you head over to meundies.com slash jverseb. One more time, that's 25% off your first order and free standard shipping when you head to meundies.com slash jverseb. Link in the description down below. It's like I've cooled down a little bit. <laughs> <sighs> At least about the well screen. Well, that's good because now it is time for the third quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by a lot of people. All right, so it was submitted by Snape's cat, Kristen with a Y, uh, Helena Shaw, Law Ninja, Cliff, Tara Noah, Neil G, and Duck Patronus 18. What was Harry's total score for the first two tasks? You know, in my defense, I've been watching, I watched the whole like, Lord of the Rings pitch meeting compilation last night in bed. Is, are you are you defending why you called it Harry Gog Aragorn? Why Aragorn is on the brain. Okay. Is that what, that's the reason. <laughs> that's not, the reason. Okay, okay. Whatever you say. Aragorn's always on my brain, if I'm being honest. All right, let's see. <laughs> Okay, let's see. The question. Uh, how many points does he get for both tasks? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. No, this is okay. Wait, let me. She does that. I don't feel good about it. Okay, I think I think I've got. I'm like also like, wait, am I just doing the math <laughs> wrong in my head? I think my brain is going to. I know. To I'm fog. like. Oh, I feel like I don't even know if I'm like using the right numbers. I know. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know. All right, should we turn? Um, wait. No. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just. I just. I just have to guess now. You good? No. Okay. No, I don't, yeah, it's fine. Ready? One, two, three. Eighty-seven. I said ninety. It's eighty-five. Eighty-five. Oh, this is what I had I am so frustrated. Yeah. Oh, I thought. No. Cause he get, I think he gets just, he gets 40 I think even it's 40 for the and second then task. Okay, I thought it was, I thought, I think, I, I thought he had 47 on the first one. Him and Cedric are tied going into the I think, almost, I think the they're end. like yeah. always Yeah, cause that's why they go into the maze at the same time. You're right. No, right. it's just out of 10. Uh, yeah, oh, is it? Yeah, each judge can go out of 10. Oh, each five judge judges. can go out of yeah, 10. Yeah, five okay, judges okay. out of 10. Question 10. 
Which of the following was not a trait used to describe the mer people in the Black Lake? Oh Got my H3D. Gosh. A, grayish skin. B, dark blue hair. C, yellow eyes. And D, broken teeth. Okay. okay, I have an answer. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Blue hair. I said blue hair as well. It is blue hair. Yes! Yeah. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> Come on now. I always remember the broken Come teeth on. because teeth really give me the heebs. <clears throat> yeah. And like the idea of having a broken tooth. Ooh. Like, <clears throat> like, like it. It get, yeah, it, it makes, uh, yeah. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> what are they running into? Are they just punching each other in the face? I don't know. Maybe they got conjunctivitis. <laughs> <laughs> What a throwback. Oh, man. Oh, that was good. Question 11. I feel like I yelled at. I am sorry. What spell does Harry use to direct himself in the maze? Uh, like, what? what's the incantation? I, you can call that. Okay. I feel like it's... Okay. <laughs> this is like one of those things that it just feels like like before you even got to Hogwarts and you were in some type of like Cub Scout type situation, they would just be like, this is an important thing to learn. This is, you could probably, yeah. Right? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, right? <clears throat> yeah. One, two, three. Point, point me. me. Point me, yeah, it's just point Four me. point spell. Yeah. Four, oh, four point spell, you're right. Oh. That's a good one. And now it's time for the fourth Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Craig Cobham, Cobham, Cobham? and voted on by patrons. I think that's a new guy. What creature did Harry and Cedric battle before grabbing the Triwizard Cup in the third task? Um, got it. No trouble at all. Oh, oh. wait. Some trouble. Now wait. Now see here, Dumbledore. Now see here, Dumbledore. We do that way too often. Isn't there is something a little funny about this? There's something a little funny about yeah, this. Yeah, I'll tell you after. A little funny, but not a lot funny. Like a light. So like like hee hee, not ha ha. I don't know. Wait You'll a see. second. You'll <laughs> see. I don't know how funny you're gonna find it, depending on what you put for your answer. It... It's. Can I ask you if it's not a creature in the capacity that you think of creatures? Huh? Okay. You mean like the hedges? The it's hedges. A, okay, it's a creature. It's okay, a creature. it's not the hedges. It's okay. a creature. That, I was wondering if it was hedges. <laughs> it is not hedges. It's not, I was it's like, not that weird way. Yeah. Hedges is it's not It's not the same as the movie. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. That's, I, I am... Is it not two different creatures? There are two obvious ones that come to mind to me. Yeah. But I think I know the one that it is. And Cedric says, I, I think this is it. Are you right, ready? It. Okay. One, two, three. I said Acrobantula. I said Acrobantula. It's a spider, yeah. Okay. Which is funny because... Oh my gosh. That's two oh. answers for spider now. Two when answers. When you predicted that that would be an answer. I, I was like, <laughs> if it's last ended screwed, I'm going to scream. No. Because I like, I, I'm like, doesn't Harry eventually have to hit the bottom side of the last ended screwed? Like, isn't that a thing? I can't remember if he does or if... Uh, I think Cedric does. He's like... Ran into a scroot. They've gotten huge. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So it's like one of Hagrid's blast ended scroots. And then I'm like, the spider drops hair, and that's how he hurts his ankle. Yeah. And I was like, but then wait, did they have to fight a scroot together at some point? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, question 13. What color does Harry describe the other dragon's eggs surrounding the golden egg? <sighs> it's not like. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that in case you decide to go for the multiple choice. Okay. I have a, I have a, I have a guess. Like. It's not like a, it's not like a Roy G. Biv. It's not like a Roy G. Biv. Yeah. <laughs> it's a color that describes something else. It's a colored. That sorry, could, just ignore that. That's gonna confuse you guys. I'm like sorry. Crayon. <clears throat> this crayons could be a crayon. have Roy G. Bibs. This could be a crayon color. I wouldn't be surprised if Crayola came up with this color name. Oh, well, that feels uh, like. I feel like all of a sudden I'm very not. Crayon. I know. I'm like. But Crayola I, has like the most ridiculous names for things. Wait, do so you want like, it? Would you go multiple droids on this? I would go multiple droids. Oh, okay, well, now I feel like okay. Aha! We've tricked her. A, puce colored. 
B, cement colored, C, gray speckled, or D, vibrant green? Um, I guess this. Okay, okay sure. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Gray speckled? Gray speckled. No, it's cement colored. Cement? I said it's used to describe something else. What is cement if not speckled gray? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was really impressed with crayon (laughs) technology. That's the specific wording that he used. And the ability for a crayon to disperse a speckle pattern upon its its dragon. (laughs) Question 14. What does Harry compare the texture of the gillyweed to once he starts chewing it? Uh, I think that. I think that. That's what comes to mind. That's what comes to mind. The texture sounds. Okay. All right, you ready? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Earthworms. Said rubbery worms. Uh, it's actually octopus tentacles. Octopus tentacles? Octopus tentacles. What is? What even is this quiz? I know. <laughs> What's going on here? I would like to take it up with the person who wrote it. Sir. <laughs> Don't at me. Wow. Octopus tentacles. Okay. On a uh, completely unrelated note, Kat, if we could have a um, employee, don't say. employee don't review say. following this particular... Hey, when you guys do that. <laughs> we got 10 minutes left in the day. Should be plenty of time. Plenty of time. I don't think I have much to say. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. And now it's time for the fifth quiz master question of the game. I really had to build on that one. Uh, this question was submitted by Snape's cat and voted on by patrons. I've already said this. What effect did the golden mist in the maze create? Um, Does this mean I lose? A little bit, yeah. (sighs) But you did predict that there would be an answer that was spider and it came up twice. Yeah! I did write write down 85. You get a brownie point. And I did consider selecting cement until I realized that it was a ridiculous descriptor. <laughs> you can take that one up with the author, not me. There we go. All right. All right. Ready? One, yeah. two, three. He like suspended upside down. I said upside downedness. Sure. Yeah, it turned everything upside down. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, congrats on a J victory. <laughs> yes. yes. It was, was close. Impressive. It was 10 to Four. 9. Fought the common Welsh green. There you go. Man. Booyah. That's the one. Mm-hmm. 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 What does Floor even do? Get past the easiest dragon and then fail to rescue her sister and get ejected from the maze? (laughs) Come on! The easiest dragon. Do we know that for a fact? The other ones, it's called Common Welsh Green. The other ones are like Chinese Fireball, Hungarian Horntail. I feel like it's all in the way you're saying it. (laughs) Sweet. It has common in the name. Like, Swedish short snout, I guess sound, doesn't sound as menacing as the other two. Do you mean to tell me that you think the word green doesn't sound nearly as dangerous as horntail? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. If I was like, Ben, would you rather fight this common newt or this Swedish short newt? The, sh- the Swedish I mean, shorts now could be maybe considered. It's just like, you know what? If it's that common, it's probably not the most dangerous one. So what did Crumb fight then? The Chinese fireball. What did Cedric fight? The, the Swedish, Swedish shorts, shorts now. now. Floor gets the easiest dragon, doesn't rescue her sister, and gets ejected from the maze after being subjected to an unforgivable curse. Yeah, that was not Yeah, well, that's Basically. not, that's that's not, not her, her fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I said it like went like this. Like, I was forgetting that part. <laughs> yeah, I was forgetting it. Yeah. Forgot, forgot <laughs> that little minor detail. detail. What I'm saying is, was she even there? <laughs> she was there. She yeah. got trapped with Who she even take to the Yule Ball? Some off-screen character, Rogers Davies? Roger Davies. Roger from Davies. Ravenclaw. From Ravenclaw, who asked Cho on a date. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that one character who was like, attempted to make Harry jealous for three seconds on a date that was already <laughs> going real south. Yeah. South. South. <laughs> oh my gosh. We gotta exit this episode. We gotta, we gotta leave. We gotta leave. Guys, in case you are unaware, we have a really cool collection of soy-based candles over at Carlin Brothers Mercantile. Yeah, it's called our Royal Candle Club, and each month you get a brand new candle with a unique scent. I can tell you this one for sure smells like, yeah, that's not octopus tentacles, so that's what's important. It definitely doesn't smell like that. It does smell 
delicious. And the other really cool thing about these candles is that inside of the candle itself is actually a charm. So as the candle melts down, it will slowly reveal the charm that you can then collect. Yeah, so there's a different charm every single month and what it actually smells like is fresh laundry this yes. month. Yes. This one is called Sun Drop. Check it out at carlinmothersmercantile.com. Link in the description down below. And now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Huge shout out to Wesley Walker, Cliff, Tara Noah, Orion, Duck Patronus 18, Snape's Cat, Kristen with a Y, but not where you expect, Helena Shaw, Law Ninja, Cliff, Tara Noah, Neil, G, and Craig Cobham. If you guys would like to try to stump us on a future episode of Jay vs. Ben, you can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the Quizmasters tier. Thanks again to all of our patrons who support us on Patreon. What were the questions that I asked people to weigh in on? How do you pronounce Akio and something else? Uh, what is conjunctivitis? <laughs> what is conjunctivitis? Jay, we have to, your eye doctors. We have to close the episode still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we were done. We've done so he said, much. I'm out. I'm out. Well, I'm out. It is 4:59. So. Guys, as ever, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to check out some of our newest and latest content about the Hunger Games, you can check out this video right here. But otherwise, until next time, bye. bye!